WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently we have most of the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow's up 225 points, about six tenths. The S&P 37, eight tenths. NASDAQ, eight tenths as well. 133 points there. The Russell's up 14, six tenths of percent. Semi's up a half a percent, 18 bucks. It's the trannies that are red, just slightly down three bucks. That is a flat market. Gold's not flat. It's up 11 bucks. Silver is up 22 pennies out here. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. What we know is that price right now is above a significant resistance level. That's where the center of its daily and weekly profiles met up with each other, around the 4638 level. We're above that. That suggests that the ES Mini should go target 4709 to 4733. Now, we make that conclusion at 1 o'clock in the afternoon because that spot volatility index, which is the panel next to it, is now below the 50-day exponential moving average. That's printing at 2045. We're at 1945. You need a second close tomorrow below the 50-day to suggest that the ES Mini is going to go up and tag the top. Now, when you look at that ES Mini chart, just look at those yellow horizontal lines. That is the consolidation pattern. It's between 4496 and 4733. So 4733 would potentially be the area to sell from. Not now. Now with that spot volatility it's below its 50-day exponents moved average. Now, from the time period that we got off the air yesterday um, until um, late last night, actually I noticed it last evening, uh, there's a new profile that formed in the NQ. And right now, price is trading above the top of that profile, 16071. So you're 16098, look, you could give that back in a heartbeat. But if there's a close above 16 71, then the NQ will be in, in essence, breakout mode, or at least breakout mode to suggest that it's going to go back and test that November 26th candle. Don't know whether it's the low at 16.366 or the high at 16.769. We'll have to pay attention to the other markets as well in intraday time periods. On the U.S. dollar index consolidating with inside its daily profile, uh, gold is once again trying to take on the top of its daily level. That daily profile level is at 18.02.20. A close above that would be uh, bullish. You can see a descending trend line out there, so it's up against some resistance. Silver looks like it wants to make its way, a move up to the 23.45 area next. That's the uh, center of its bearish structured daily profile lights we crew trade into resistance as is natural gas folks stay tuned for the trader's ed show but if you're off to start your wednesday have a wonderful one and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon take care now